What's up everybody, it's Flux, and this is the install video for Flux 302 Dystopia Machine Expansion Pack. You can get this pack over at fluxwithit.com, and let me just show you how easy this is to install. Once you've paid for your pack, you'll get a download. Here's what the download looks like here, okay? And you'll just unzip it. There'll be a folder. Open up that folder. You're going to find a PDF. Inside the PDF, you'll see the cover shot. Then you'll see the story behind it and the features of the pack. Okay, and then you'll see the install instructions. And if we follow these install instructions to the T, you won't have a single problem. It goes very easy. So let me go over this real quick with you and show you how we do it. So once you've read over the instructions, which I'm sure all of you will, what we'll do here is open up the zip file. Here's the folder. Okay, you place this folder wherever you want on any of one, any one of your drives. Okay, once you have that in the place that you want it, all you have to do is open up machine, go to preferences, okay, file preferences, user paths, then click add, like so. You're going to find it. Once you've found it, it'll show up here. And then what you do is you double click in the alias field here and you're going to type in dystopia with a capital D. Capital D is very important on this. Okay, so once you've found, you've located the, the folder, typed in the alias as dystopia, all you do is hit OK. It will rescan your database and it'll put everything right where it needs to be. And your kits will be there, your multi effects, the samples, the sounds, everything will be right inside of your machine. You can browse it right from your hardware. And let's go ahead and do that now. So this is, uh, let's get the dirty mix. Load that up. Let me show you how easy it is to use a different multi effects because I know everybody loves the multi effects. So let's go right to that and load up a multi effects. All right. Uh, let's load up the glitches. Everybody wants glitches in their beats. So I've done that for you. All you have to do now is go back to your original group, go to the output of your group. All right. And we'll set the output to input B, which is your flux glitch group and check it out Want to remember what it sounded like without it? Check it out. Let's do a different pattern. Some of these uh, multi effects kits are going to have uh, multiple input points. So you can do things like um, let's take the swish reverb delay and we'll send that to the auxiliary. And you'll see there's three inputs for it. Listen to how different they all sound. So a lot of these multi effects groups have different input stages so that you can do different things with them. Anyway, that's how you install it. That's how you use it. I want you to get down with your funky self. Make that happen. Peace.